So yes, it is true that I took both of them together. And I'm gonna tell you guys right now, it is a complete, 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 at least for me, show, okay? Hi guys, como esta? So I am back. I am sorry I have been MIA for ages, but I have a good explanation. Uh, so this video, I wanted to kind of give you guys an update, um, some information in regards about taking these two classes. I took it last semester. It's the Nursing 6501 Advanced Pathophysiology. And I took the Nursing 6521 um, Advanced Pharmacology. But before we get started, let's go ahead and do the due diligence that we always do before all this is that if you guys are liking this video, if you guys are watching it, please give it a thumbs up. If you guys like what I'm doing, if you guys like to follow me, please subscribe. It would help me tremendously. A few people have reached out to me. I'm sorry that it's taken so long for me to respond to you. I am not ignoring you, I promise. It's just really, really busy with work life, with family life, and school life. So if I haven't responded to your email, I will be responding to them. Um, so yes, subscribe, like, thumbs up this video, all right? And number two, um, there is no number two. <laughs> what am I talking about? Oh yes, 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 I'm sorry. So if you're new to this channel, cause you guys are interested as far as taking advanced patho and advanced pharmacology together, just a quick um, background. I am a registered, registered nurse. I got in my ASN. My associate's degree in nursing over from a brick and mortar school. Um, and after that, I did get my BSN online over the internet. I shouldn't say that is so bad online over the internet. I got my BSN over at Western Governors University. It is an online based, 100% online. Um, and at one point in time, I was going, to, I was taking classes actually at Western Governors University, WGU, to get my master's in informatics. However, um, I had a change of heart. I then went on to Walden University to get my nurse practitioner, which is AGPCNP, which is adult gerontology. Primary care, uh, primary care nurse practitioner. So yes, it is true that I took both of them together. And I'm gonna tell you guys right now, it is a complete, 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 at least for me, a C. diff show. Okay. I'm gonna tell you why. Because two, these two classes were too intense. And also I took them over uh, when COVID, peak COVID was going on. Uh, so that was last semester. So anyways. Let's get started. All right, here you go. I have my cheat sheet. I have my my handy dandy iPad, my cheat sheet. So, huh? Let me tell you guys. All right, if I did it, so can you. All right, I am not gonna lie. It was very, very intense. It is very stressful, but during taking this two classes, I did go ahead and work. I work a full-time job plus more because it was COVID, uh, peak COVID, and you know, nobody was, you know, there was like such a lot of uncertainty at that time. Um, it was very stressful at work, very stressful at home just because the, the kids had to stay home. They had to learn remotely. That was new for them. Um, my work required of me a lot. Uh, I volunteered, obviously, to pick up more hours on my full-time job. So I worked 36 hours plus more uh, just to you know, alleviate any stress, um, help out. Um, and I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. And hopefully your family is safe. The, let's get to the advanced pathophysiology first. Um, of course, it's asking me to log in. So I 
I know now what number two is. So number two, just want to let you guys know that I am not affiliated with any company. I'm not affiliated at all with Walden University. This videos and all the videos that I do, it's solely because I wanted to share it with you guys. It's my experience. Um, it's up to you how you use it. Use it wisely. Don't Advanced use pathophysiology. it. Advanced pathophysiology. Um, obviously on week one, I think all classes, you know, at least for the classes that I have taken, we all have to do a discussion on the first week, right? We have to, um, on day one, we have to introduce ourselves, where are we from, and what are our goals, and all these things, and say hi to everybody. It's just best, basically a check mark for the school to let you guys, to let them know that you're active right and you guys are not having any issues and of course for week one there's always going to be that that discussion um whether or not it's like just a quick question about randomly about something and you guys have to respond so just remember that week one it's most likely going to be a discussion uh let's see for what i can remember because you know it was like whoosh, um pathophysiology as far as I can see here, there is the assignments. So remember, assignments are you writing a paper and you researching something, right? So there's one, two, three, four. So there are four assignments in total um, for the 11 weeks course. Um, there is a midterm and an exam for this course and for mod, for knowledge check. So knowledge check is kind of like one of those, um, to me knowledge check is basically a quiz. Um, it's whether a 10 question quiz or a 20 question quiz, okay? Uh, let's see, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's seven knowledge um, or seven quizzes in this particular class. So let's go over to advanced pharmacology. Okay, again, for week one, a discussion, right? Not so many discussions on uh, advanced pathophysiology, so. Uh, let's see, so the assignments in Advanced Farm will be one, two, three, four, five, six. Holy crap. Sorry. Yeah, I remember now. Um, six assignments, so six paper that you have to write, and I think it's a minimum of a two-pager paper and I think the max that I have written or I have um, done in this uh, class is like a four to five pages all right so of course there's a midterm and a final exam uh, what else is there a knowledge check let me just try and say assignment 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 no there's actually no knowledge tech check or a quiz on this one there is a forum um, which is a discussion board so let there is one um, two three four so there's four discussion boards that you have to do. And actually most of these discussion boards are um, case studies. So you do have to research and read. I am going to tell you guys right now, again, this is my own experience and this is what I did. I didn't buy the book, okay? Or let me rephrase that. It's not that I, I didn't, didn't buy, buy the book. hard copy book. I actually had had the PDF form of both books for advanced patho and advanced pharmacology. All right, so again, there is a PDF form of a 
advanced patho and advanced pharmacology out there. That's what I got. I didn't want to spend a lot of money. I downloaded them in my handy dandy iPad and that's what I did. As far as reading, as always in any class, there's always going to be reading in any, either it's going to be a brick or mortar school or an online class, there's always going to be reading, right? Um, I remember somebody said, wow, we have to read 13 chapters in two weeks. How can we do that? To be honest, you can't. You, you really can't, right? Um, your brain, even if you read it and even if you love reading it, you're not going to remember everything, right? I always say when you're in the field, it's okay to look up things because that's how you're supposed to do it. You, you can't just be expected to remember every single thing. You have to do your research. You have to read um, while you're practicing, after practicing, before practicing. So I guess what I'm saying is that it's okay. Don't beat up yourself because you cannot read all 13 chapters. I'm not saying 13 pages, 13 chapters in two weeks because it's gonna be impossible. You're not gonna be able to re retain every single thing. So what I normally do is that, you know, I, I do read it, I do scan it, and I do jot down important things that, you know, hey, this is kinda, I'm curious about this. Um, let me go and research this more, right? Or let me read into this more. But as far as reading 13 chapters in two weeks, you're not gonna remember everything. Say, okay, now I don't remember if it's the advanced patho or the advanced pharmacology. I almost failed one. The reason being is that I wasn't really paying attention. It was such, you know, you guys are gonna hear me this over and over and over and over and over again. It was such a stressful semester, right? That I was really getting confused if it was a patho or if it was pharmacology. Um, I almost failed one because I didn't take the midterm. I'm gonna tell you guys now, it's so similar that they kinda um, blend. Um, I don't know if you guys know what I'm saying. So for example, um, in one of the chapters or one of the week we are learning about women's health, right? Um, so pharmacology for women's health. And then all your exercise, all your assignments, all your knowledge checks is about women's health. Here goes the other subject, the other class, is learning about women's health as well. So all the patho and all everything about women's health. So they kind of integrate together. So I guess what I'm saying is that they are good to take together but I just hope that you guys are prepared. I guess what I'm saying is that the integration is, is really good. So you can take it together. I just hope that you guys would know and you guys are prepared mentally, emotionally, and physically about these two classes. Like I said, you guys can take it, okay? Because I've done it. Um, it was very stressful and of course, it's because of the COVID and my work required more of me, like I said before. Um, so it's up to you. So anyways, I had, back to what I was saying about forgetting to take a midterm. So I, I just took my final exam and I'm just reviewing all my grades and I just noticed, I'm like, wait a minute, I've been averaging an A minus on this class. How come I have a D? right now so i'm looking oh my god so why did i not take um my midterm so i'm i'm saying to myself now this is me saying wait a minute i do remember taking the midterm why am i not graded and now i have d in this class and i'm going to fail so i emailed my professor, my professor hey you know what's going on i think there's a mistake because i remember taking this midterm I don't know what happened there must be a glitch okay so that's how I left it 
So I'm thinking about this. I couldn't sleep during the day because, you know, I work night shift. So I'm thinking, thinking, I'm like, okay, let me just kind of go back to the other class, right? So I went on the other class and I was like, oh my God, both classes have midterms. So I only took one midterm. I didn't think the other class had a midterm. So all that was another MRSA show. You so know after I mean? that, I emailed my professor and I said, hey, there's a mistake. I thought I have taken it, but I really didn't take that's it. That's because they're so similar that I really thought that I took it. So anyways, my professor was kind enough, and kind enough to actually let me retake the midterm. But the only caveat to that is that whatever grade I get, I only get 50% of that. So if I get a 90%, Obviously, she's just only gonna give me 45%, but that's better than nothing. Anyhow, that's what I did. So I ended up having a B in that particular class, and I'm very, very, very grateful that she so, let me take it. That's another example. If something is not quite right, you know, I've always encouraged you guys to always, always, always reach out to your professor first. All right, so this video is, this video update is over. I hope that you guys like the update um, and remember if I can do it you can do it too uh, if you guys are starting in November more power to you let me know if you have any questions if you guys are doing patho and advanced patho and advanced farm together please let me know how it was if you guys were going to do it and sign up for it in November and you change your mind, let me know. Um, send me an email. And that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. Love you guys. Stay safe. Paalam.